Hi and welcome to this 15 minutes no jumping standing abs workout. I'm Kirsty and I'm going to be working with one weight today with you. So I'm using a three kilo dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell, you can use whatever weights that you want to use. I'm using a three kilo dumbbell so you're going to know that I'm using that throughout this workout. You don't need anything else for this workout and if you don't want to use a weight you absolutely don't have to. It's your workout so it's your choice. If your floor space is clear from obstructions and you're ready to work out, then let's go. Okay, so let's get started on this workout. The first exercise we're gonna go in, no waist at all, so that's just down by the side. Come into the edge of your workspace, so space behind you, bring the arms up and the leg comes back. So arms up, leg comes back, let's go together now. So 40 seconds of work today with 20 seconds of rest. So working through, push it through bringing the arms up and back, making sure that you're not leaning over. Okay, so keeping nice and straight, you're gonna get that nice pull into the abs. Keeping your ears in line with shoulders if you can, so you know that you're not pushing your head out, your chin's not jutting forward. So a good spinal alignment through the neck. Keep it going, we're nearly there. Two, one, take a rest. So you have 20 seconds now, just let your heart rate normalize. We're gonna go into the next exercise. Just watching in, fingertips onto temples. I'm gonna try and get my elbow to my knee and then switch sides, elbow to knee. Okay, ready to go with me in three, two, one, let's go. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Supporting foot is flat on the floor with my heel pushed into the ground. Okay, really thinking about my tummy muscles working nice and hard. Good. Now, if you cannot get your elbow and knee to meet, that is okay. That is all right. It's the intention to get there that makes the difference here. So just working it through. Good. 10 seconds to go. And we're gonna get into our first weighted exercise. If you're using a weight, you do not have to. Two, one, Take your 20 seconds rest. Okay, if you're using a weight, so you're gonna pick up your weight now. Just one weight. I'm gonna put my fingertips onto my temple and I'm gonna come down to the side and up. Down to the side and up. So one si a one-sided side bend. So many sides in that one. Ready? Let's go. Down, up. Down, up. Good. Now, obviously we're just working on one side here. We're gonna switch sides, you'll get your 20 seconds, rest. So holding onto that weight. So if you want to use a kettlebell here, if you don't have any actual weights, if you've got like a sandbag, or you've just got something heavy from the cupboard that's safe to use, then just use that. Honestly, just use something that's gonna add a little bit of resistance. Good. So keep that movement going. Tight into the tummy and rest. We're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna give you your 20 seconds. So just, if you need to put the weight down, put it down, take a drink. You've got just over 10 seconds before we go again. This workout's gonna rattle by so quick today. Toes are facing forwards. I've got the weight firmly gripped in my hand. Fingertips on temples. Let's go. So down, up, down, up. Good job. Well done. Breathing all the time then. If breathing doesn't come naturally to you during a workout, then think about exhaling on effort. So push that breath out of your mouth when things are hard. So there we go. If breathing comes really naturally to you and you don't have any problems with figuring out when to breathe, just do your thing. Okay, chances are if it's not broken, don't fix it. Two, one, take your rest. Okay, so just looking in, 20 seconds rest, remember. Just looking in, we're gonna do a standing twist. So I'm gonna hold the weight out in front of me. You can do this with or without a weight. If your weight is too heavy for this, then just drop out the weight and do this without a weight. Hands in front then, toes are facing forwards, hips are facing forwards, and we're gonna twist and twist. Are you with me now? Let's go. Twist, twist. So my eye gaze is following, my head is following where my arms are going, but I'm not looking at my weight or my hands because that tends to make you dizzy. 
well it makes me dizzy so just twisting round back is nice and straight and ears are in line with shoulders and I'm really trying to keep my hips facing forwards so grip into your hips try and keep them facing forwards you're not going to be able to do it but just try and it makes such a difference three two one take a rest really really well done we're going to keep the same weight and this time instead of twisting and bending we're going to come up and down so we're going to come to a standing crunch next so you're going to hold the weight end on you're going to bring it up above your head and you're going to crunch in and back down in and back down okay are you ready to go with me now let's do this crunch and crunch nice flat foot no pointy toes flat foot push that heel into the floor arms come all the way up overhead working through now the best thing about workouts like this is that you can make moderations to them adaptations to them but also because they are for time rather than for reps you can do as many as you want so you can go as fast or as slow as you want to in these exercises keep it going really well done two one and rest we're going to put the weight down for the moment so always squatting to put the weight pick the weight up or down we're going to come to the edge of your workspace we've got some space to the side of me here we're going to come under and coming up to stand going under and coming up to stand imagine you have a barrier that you're going to try and get under ready let's go under up under up push those hips forwards just slightly gripping into the tummy muscles grip and grip well done good keep it going well done We've got 10 seconds keep it going then well done three two one take a rest amazing work you got 20 seconds if you're starting to feel tired or out of breath don't worry we're halfway through this program now so you're doing really really well I'm gonna pick up my weight I'm gonna hold it into my body but not against my body and I'm gonna bring my leg out to the side push up other leg out to the side push up with me now then let's go up there may be elements of this workout where you think I could definitely do with a heavier weight here in which case you can just pause it you can go and grab one and you can come back or when you do this again do it with a, a set of a light and a heavier set of weights because you absolutely have the choice to do that it's your workout it's your choice you always have the flexibility to do what's right for you good job and rest really well done okay next thing we're going to do is we've got a windmill so feet nice and wide weight comes up overhead okay so straight arm down to the side I'm looking at the weight and I'm coming back up again okay give it a little practice we're ready to go let's go so looking down coming up down coming up so it's a variation on that side bend that we did don't forget to push that air out. Well done. Keep it going. Good. Just over 10 seconds now. You will get your 20 seconds rest. The arm is feeling tired. That's okay. It's a long time to hold a weight all the way up. Two, one bring that weight down safely pop it onto the floor if you need to make any adjustments and alterations you need to make and we're going to get going with the other side so really good into not just into the front of the abs into round to the outside as well all of the areas and also into your back which is really really important if you're working the abs you must work the back as well so here we go down to the side and up down to the side and up If you're wanting to strengthen your core strengthen your abs your back 
all of the deep stabilizing postural muscles that will help you if you have back pain that will help in most cases not in all there's always going to be a, 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 a rule keep it going three two one and rest really well done okay we're going to keep with the weight and we're going to do similar to what we started off with that foot tap back but we're going to hold the weight in front so this time as we tap the foot back we're bringing the weight into ourselves here so bringing the leg back tap and bring the weight in ready to go two one let's do this tap tap so you have to slow it down as you bring the weight down otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself you know backing the weight into your legs so just bringing up leg comes out nice and straight into the tummy muscles good so make sure they're engaged turn them on upper body is nice and straight well done I'm not leaning forwards really nice and straight make sure those muscles are working hard for you good three two one and take a rest well done we're nearly there I'm going to put my weight back down the last three exercises are no weight. Okay, so you've done the main part of the work, now the hard part. I'm gonna put my toes facing forwards. I'm gonna cross over my body, bring my heel up, come back in, little semi-squat, and push over. Ready? Over, over. Now this isn't a real squat. This is just giving us a little bit of momentum to be able to push over with a bit of force. So generate a little speed and a little force. If you don't want to even do the little bob down, then just push over side to side. But I really want you to give it a bit of oomph. Give it some effort into the punch. Push, push. Good, 10 seconds. Can you really punch it out for the last 10 seconds? Turn that heel, push on through. Well done. Two, one, 20 seconds. Two exercises to go and then you are done. You've done really, really well. The next exercise, we're gonna take a hand to the knee. Bring it back out, so I'm creating a nice diagonal here. Hand to knee, hand to knee, okay? 40 seconds on each side, 20 seconds in between, the same as everything else. Ready, let's go. Hand to knee, hand to knee. So really trying to create a nice diagonal here, stretching all the way across, good. So I'm just touching my toes down as I go. I'm not putting the whole heel down, but on the supporting leg, my heel is firmly pushed into the floor. Good. And that supporting leg is actually doing quite a lot of work here, but really crunching into the abs here. Keep it going. Good. Two, one, take your rest. 20 seconds, you've earned it. One more of those on the other side, then we have one exercise left, and then you're done. 15 minutes of standing abs, no jumping, complete. Okay, so let's get ourselves ready for the other side. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Crunch, crunch, and crunch. Good. Amazing. Keep it going. Working hard. Crunch it through then. Good. Nearly there. Just over 10 seconds to go. If you're feeling tired, that's okay. You're near the end of the workout. That's normal to feel tired now. Good. Nearly done. And rest. Last exercise coming up. You just get to rest for 20 seconds. Looking in while you rest, I'm gonna take my toes pointing outwards. I'm gonna take my legs nice and wide, fingertips onto temples, and I'm gonna come down to the side and down to the side. Now there is a standing version if you don't wanna sink down and you're just gonna bring your knee up and crunch in, okay? Either one is totally fine, let's go. So down and crunch, or if you prefer, you can bring that knee up and bring the elbow down, or just bring the elbow down if that's too hard, okay? 
You've got all the choices, all the options here. I'm going to show you all of them. Because there are always adaptations that you can make. Okay, there's always something that you can do. Well done. Keep it going. You're nearly done. Two, one, and rest. Really well done. Amazing work. That is your workout done. We're just going to do a real quick little stretch out. So a standing stretch out. This is a standing workout, so we can do a standing cool down. I just want you to put your hands onto your hips and then just push your hips forwards. Bring your shoulders back and just stretch out into the abs and into the back. You should still be able to breathe freely. Slowly come up and then really straight back. Just tip forwards, really straight back still. You should be able to feel that down in the back of the legs there. Push the heels into the floor. And you can repeat that as many times as you want. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed the workout. If you do like the workout, please do subscribe, please like, please comment, please share with your friends, please support a small creator just trying to make her way. Thank you so much and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.